These cats play by their own rules, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV badasses. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the baddest characters to have ever graced the small screen. You're not gonna kill me because you're a good man. You are. Number 10, Omar Little, The Wire. Look, man, I do what I can do to help y'all, but the game is out there, and it's either play or get played. On the spectrum of badass professions, robbing drug dealers is somewhere between Navy SEAL and Space Pirate. And yet, for Omar Little, it isn't just a job, it's his life. For the better part of five seasons, The Wire's resident rip and runner rained terror upon those that crossed him, using anything at his disposal to dispatch of his enemies. He outsmarted Stringer Bell, wreaked havoc upon Marlowe Stanfield, and generally scared the living daylights out of Baltimore's drug-pushing community. Yo. Yo, son, come on, yo, Omar coming, man! You know you're a badass when people literally flee in terror at the sight of you, whistling your way down the street. Though it certainly helps when you're packing a loaded shotgun. Yeah. The cheese stands alone. Number 9. Jackson, Jax Teller, Sons of Anarchy. Jax Teller is the gun-toting, tattoo-sporting president of Sam Crow, a vicious motorcycle gang peddling guns to like-minded organizations all over California. Need we say more? He believes in two things, his family and his club, and he'll do whatever's necessary to ensure their survival. We gotta take this one alone, I say. He's used his wit to outsmart everyone from the FBI to the IRA, and when that doesn't work, he's more than happy to take out his enemies in a more personal fashion. That includes killing cops, prison guards, rival gangsters, and occasionally, his own crew members. This is one TV character whose bad side you do not want to be on. Number 8. Arya Stark, Game of Thrones Game of Thrones is overflowing in badass characters, from Daenerys Targaryen and Brienne of Tarth to Egret and Cersei Lannister, and that's just the ladies. Of course, la creme de la creme when it comes to badass Game of Thrones characters is Arya Stark. Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. She's not only survived numerous treacheries, a prison stint in Harrenhal, and a brutal internship at the House of Black and White, she's actually grown stronger because of it. You know who makes a list of every single person who's ever betrayed them or their family and makes it their life goal to see them end up deader than dead? A badass. That's who. Never stop being you, Arya. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you. As you die. Number seven, Dean Winchester, Supernatural. House rules, Sammy. Driver picks the music. Shotgun shuts his cake hole. It takes a badass to hunt down demons, spirits, and all other manner of monster. And that's exactly what Dean Winchester is. With the help of his equally badass brother Sam, Dean does his best to rid the world of evil. And he often keeps a witty one liner locked and loaded in the event that he needs to look even cooler while doing it. Anybody ever tell you you hit like an angel? <laughs> Sure, his badassery is aided by the fact that he drives a black 1967 Chevrolet Impala, but we like to think of it as an accessory to his own lofty levels of rebelliousness. Number 6. Buffy Summers, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Buffy Summers was just your typical high school cheerleader. If the typical high school cheerleader was a vampire slaying heroine whose hometown just happened to be built atop a portal to hell, that is. Over the course of seven seasons, Buffy took out everything from werewolves and demons to a truly vicious mayor and freaking Dracula. Her bravery and intelligence knew no bounds, and she used both in the seemingly never-ending battle against the evildoers who flocked to the not-so-quiet town of Sunnydale. Buffy had an uncanny ability to turn anything into a weapon while still looking insanely cool, making her one of the deadliest and most badass TV characters of all time. You know very well you eat this late. You're gonna get heartburn. Get it? Heartburn? Number 5. Jack Bauer, 24. Put your hands where I can see them! Nina, put your hands on the steering wheel! Death should be Jack Bauer's middle name. Over the course of eight seasons, and a limited event TV series, which in the world of 24 amounts to just nine days, the character had 309 reported on-screen kills, and when you're doing it in the name of national security, that makes you a badass. Bauer has an unquenchable thirst for doing whatever it takes to save the day, regardless of cost. 
Sure, his interrogation techniques can be a little, what's the word, illegal. I'm gonna take this to seven CCs. You will experience a pain I can't even describe. But you can't deny that he gets the job done. Oh, and if saving the world wasn't already hard enough, Bauer ups the ante by doing it while raising a teenage daughter. Badass dad alert. It's gonna be all right. Number four, Tony Soprano, The Sopranos. The words gangster and badass may as well be synonyms, especially when it comes to characters like Tony Soprano. Soprano was a bona fide anti-hero, a morally ambiguous mafioso who is just as likely to kill you with his bare hands as he is to spend some quality time with his family on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Teddy, there must be something we could do. Tony, it's Tony, you f He's the kind of character whose reputation demands respect from friend and foe alike. What line of work are you in? Waste management consultant. He can order your death with the snap of his fingers, but has no problem, and even appears to enjoy doing the deed himself. A badass doesn't always strike fear into the hearts of his enemies, but this one certainly does. Yeah, hey, what are you, a family counselor? You want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Yikes, I'm no, involved, okay? Number three, Mike Ehrmantraut, Breaking Bad. In a show littered with badass characters, Mike not only stands out, but he also sets the bar for what a badass truly is. During his time on the show, Mike exemplified all the qualities of a badass. He's professional, cool-headed, and always in control. I hope that hell that works. Take him. Even when he's in the presence of loose cannons like Jesse and Walter, he manages to keep things on an even keel. I'd like you to drop your gun where you stand, and then turn around very slowly. As a dirty cop turned drug enforcer, Mike has the skills to handle any situation thrown his way. Sure, he didn't exactly come out on top, but in the world of Breaking Bad, who does? Don't hurt my daughter. I won't have to, unless you scream. Number two, Lauren Malvo, Fargo. Brilliantly brought to life by Academy Award winner Billy Bob Thornton, Lauren Malvo is easily one of the most intriguing characters to have invaded the small screen. Lester, are there any more cops? A contract killer and con man, Malvo is a master manipulator, able to use his compelling demeanor and extensive background knowledge to bend anyone and everyone to his will. His ruthlessness knows no bounds. That's on you. Need proof? Watch that Las Vegas hotel scene, wherein he executed an entire elevator full of people simply to prove a point. Lauren Malvo is a stone-cold badass, no doubt about it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mercy is the mark of a great man. Oh. Oh. Guess I'm just a good man. The new sheriff in town, boys. Y'all best get used to it. A crown for king. <laughs> Number one, Daryl Dixon, The Walking Dead. Landing at numero uno is Daryl Dixon, the crossbow-wielding redneck who, along with Rick and the gang, struggles to survive in a world overrun by zombies and homicidal maniacs. Daryl has put his badassery on display multiple times, from blowing up Negan's men with a rocket launcher to single-handedly taking out a tank during the governor's assault on the prison. What he lacks in Southern charm, he makes up for in hilarious one-liners, often delivered after he's dispatched a horde of walkers or an unscrupulous human. Are the only ones zen around here? Good lord. To be blunt, the day Daryl stops kicking ass and taking names is the day we stop watching. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.